come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson. Welcome to Jen TV. Okay, this is your all sides check in. We're going to be doing all the sides, yes. And uh, we're going to be asking who's coming towards you and what do you need to know. So I've separated out some of the, uh, well, the court cards. See who's coming towards you. And then with the other deck, we'll be doing what do you need to know. So let's begin with Taurus. Okay, who's coming towards you, Taurus? We've got the Knight of Pentacles. So, this is someone who's a little bit cautious, very efficient type of person, very cautious, taking steps slowly, baby steps, taking very gentle, slow, cautious steps. This is one who's who's really they're they're. They're realistic. You see my hat got wet. <laughs> it's like... Mm -hmm. What's the point of a hat if you can't take it out in the rain? So, yeah. You, so, Taurus, you've got the Knight of Pentacles type person coming towards you. So that could be a uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn as well. So what do you need to know about this person? They've just ended a relationship. I think this is probably why they're very cautious. Um, and they, in a way, they're kind of browsing with this page of wands here. They're looking around. They're, they, I think this is why they're cautious. They're, they're seeing what there is out there. Um, I think that their last relationship kind of knocked their confidence a little bit. So again, this is why they're being cautious. So, uh, a little bit of advice for you. It's, it's, it's sort of, um, I don't think it's going to be easy for you. And just get this seven of swords in reverse. This is like a challenge. Something that, you know, when I think of this card, I think it's like kind of releasing something or breaking free of something. I kind of feel like this probably isn't the person for you. Let's pull you a moonology. Dreams. What a beautiful card. Have faith in your dreams. So, you know, maybe this isn't the person for you. They're being a little bit too cautious, um, not letting anyone in at this time. So have faith in your dreams that maybe this isn't the person, but love's coming your way. Okay. Okay, Virgo. Let's have a look at you. So who's coming towards you, Virgo? have a look so I've separate, separated out the court cards who's coming towards you Virgo page of cups okay let's pop that there and pull you what you need to know about this person so the page of cups is like they're a uh, they're very emotional. Um, I sort of feel like pages are, are perhaps someone younger. This is someone who's, who's very emotional, very loving. They've got a lot to give, but I also feel they're quite naive. It sort of feels like with the pages as well, 
with the Page of Cups there. This could be about things sort of happening at the right time, at the right moment. Um, can't think of the word right now. What's that police song? Synchronicity. <laughs> Synchronicity. So it's almost like it's sort of happened at the right time. A lo loving person's come along, but it's like, I, I kind of feel like, well, let's have a look at the cards. What do you need to know about this person? What does Virgo need to know about this person? Oh. Oh. Take it slow. Take it slow. I mean, you might, in the beginning, kind of be thinking, well, what else is there out there? And you might not exactly take their cup of love that they're offering straight away. But I kind of think that this is like an onion peeling back the layers. You might get to know more about this person and you, more will be revealed that you think, well, oh, they're pretty amazing, actually. It might be a little bit naive. It might be, you know someone who sort of falls in love a little bit too quickly but I don't know it looks like this might be a good one for you Virgo let's get some advice from the universe oops advice from the universe say you know it's time to the three of pentacles is that if you take a look at the card it's somebody building a cathedral um from the bottom right from the basement building the foundations doing it right this time so it's building something together it's usually like teamwork this so it's building it together and, and um, I sort of feel like with the page of pentacles here, it's being practical. You know, this is, you see the stripes on their arm? They're they're not that way, they're this way, so that's the feminine. <laughs> um, that would be masculine, that would be feminine. It, it, it's almost like the feminine um, energy here, so even it could be like the female or even the divine feminine, which could be male or female, it's, it's not about gender. Um, it's about the feminine energy. Um, I sort of feel like they've earned their stripes. They're coming into their own. They're 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 working their way through uh, past um, difficult times. You know, this one they they've earned their stripes basically. So it just sort of feels like I don't know. I just and with this card as well, it, it just feels like taking it slow, moving into a really lovely, loving time. Feels good. Let's pull you one of these. Ah, another suburban Monday morning. Don't let pride get in your way. That can be, you know, about earning your stripes as well. Um, it might have gotten your way in the past, so don't let it get in the way this time. Capricorn, okie dokie. Capricorn. Let's take a look at your person. Who's coming towards you, Capricorn?
King of Pentacles in the upright. So let's take a look at them. What do you need to know? Get those out of the way. King of Pentacles. So he's a, uh, or you know, doesn't matter about gender. It could be the type of person. This is someone who's pretty disciplined. Um, works hard. He looks sassy in that picture, doesn't he? In the purple tights, men in tights. Yeah, that Errol Flynn Robin Hood, wow, right? That's when a bad Errol Flynn in that film was just like, dude, my next ex husband, only if I had a time machine. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, back to the type of person the King of Pentacles is. He's sort of, I would say, steadfast is a good word for him. Steadfast, he's. he's or she, they work hard, they're disciplined, they're, they, they're true, they're honest, reliable. So what do you need to know about them? So that's uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, perhaps. What do you need to know about them? There's somebody in the way of this relationship. I'm drinking a lem sip because I've got to go. There's someone in the way of this relationship. They, uh, they're because because of the type of person that they are. They're very trustworthy, honest, steadfast. Like I said, I I feel like they have very high boundaries you know like no nope. it sort of feels like a situation that uh, there's somebody else in the way i just don't feel like it's it's the right time it's very confusing time I don't think this person wants to mess you around and in not wanting to mess you around they kind of messed you around a little bit but they didn't mean to they're not that kind of person I have some advice from the universe for you You want to kind of try and make it work and try and chase it, but it's not what you wanted, is it really? It's not what you were looking for. You just want to make it work because you know that this person is the right kind of person for you because they're so honest and reliable and steadfast. That's the kind of person you want in life, but they're not available right now. So you're just torturing yourself. So back off. Bottom of the deck was Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Will you one of these? Apologies. Reverse. Oh dear. Fiery climax approaches. Hold on to your butts. All right, Libra. Who's coming towards you? Towards you, Libra. I've separated out all the court cards for this. Who's coming towards you, Libra? Okay. Oh, it's right there. The Queen of Pentacles. So that could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Close to one side. Perhaps a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're um, being the Queen of Pentacles. They're um, very nurturing. 
very loving, very trustworthy, um, maternal or paternal, depending on your, you know, what, what's coming towards you. I don't, don't take the, the gender of the card too seriously. They're gorgeous though. Look at this peacock in the background. They're gorgeous and they kind of know it, but I wouldn't say that's in a narcissistic negative way because of all the other wonderful um, characteristics this person has. They're very nurturing, but damn. So what do you need to know right now? I think that this person ended a, a, a very serious relationship. I'm sipping my lem sip, a little bit of cold. I think this person ended a very serious relationship, perhaps a marriage. Um, and they're still very confused about this situation. The Knight of Swords in Reverse. Uh, I think they're struggling to move on from the, them. Uh, so as loving and caring and nurturing as this person is and well fit as well i think that you just need to give them time if you want to be in a relationship with this person they're not ready let's have some advice from the universe for you I sort of want to say, sort of want to say to, you're not supposed to chisel water, are you? So I'm thirsty at the moment because I'm having to drink, breathe through my mouth all the time. So I'm like, <sighs> Darth Vader, but my mouth's so dry all the time. I would say be present. Don't push them. Like, um, don't pester them about being with you, being in a relationship. I would say stay present, stay communicative. Um, I mean, you can obviously let it know maybe just once I'm into you. I'm going to pursue you, but I'm going to put it on hold until you're ready. But I'm here as a friend kind of thing. Um, until they've sort of had the chance to like kind of let go and, and break free of what's kind of holding them back it's sort of it looks like you guys have a chance so hang in there be patient be a friend let's pull you one of these oracle cards look is on your side okay need i say more I think with a bit of patience, this one could work out for you. Okay, Gemini. Let's have a look-see. Okay, Gemini. I've separated out all the court cards so we can pull a type of person for you. Who's coming towards you? King of Cups. King of Cups. Look at that beautiful. Saturn in the background there. I love Saturn. Right, hold on. It's not my favourite planet. I'm going to be honest, it's not my favourite. I'm a little bit... I can't choose between Jupiter or Neptune, to be honest. But oh, Saturn's got something going on, hasn't it? What's your favourite planet? Gun to my head, I'm going to have to say 
Jupiter. But oh, there's something about Neptune, the colour of it. Oh, love turquoise. Anyway. You can tell I'm a mom and the kind of conversations I have. So, King of Cups anyway. So what kind of a person are they? Uh, maybe a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Um, this person's, you know, got grace. Let's tell me what you need to know right now. This person's, like, they're, they're wise. What do you need to know right now? They've, they've kind of had their life experiences and made a lot of mistakes and learnt from them so you know they've come far all right now king of cups again i feel like you might be a little bit back and forth with this person because one of you is a little bit jealous and possessive and the other one i think is them is very tolerant but they're also very wise and they're only going to put up with so much crap just sort of feeling this one out there's a feeling of with this one, it's it's a very, very loving, uh, emotional feeling that comes with the Page of Cups. Sort of like, as well, like the little fish popping out of the cup. It's a bit of a kind of come out of nowhere, a bit of a surprise. I... I'm kind of getting the feeling that um, this might be somebody that you already know. It's kind of come out of nowhere and it's lovely, but also I get the feeling that you're the person who's a little bit possessive, a little bit jealous of, of their time and, and who are they talking to. And uh, let's get some advice on that. They're very tolerant of that, but only so much because Well, they've experienced that kind of behaviour before. King of Cups is jumping out again. Guidance from the universe for you. Don't push them too far is what I would say. Jealous and possessive behaviour, you have to kind of look at yourself as well as, yeah, maybe what are they doing to make you feel like that? But also why, analyse you and why do you feel like that? not exactly what they're doing but what is it about you what what's making you feel like that look look at look at that as well advice from the universe uh, yeah advice from the universe if you don't kind of look at your toxic behavior that you might find that they become em emotionally unavailable to you if you push them too far I don't think that they'll want to feel that way. It's uh, it's almost like I feel like they they will they care very deeply, and it's confusing to them that they care so deeply, but they're kind of repelled by. Um, jealous and possessive behavior because it's always like they haven't really done anything to deserve it so just just take a look at that it's not nice or easy to look at your own toxic behavior and nobody likes to think that they have it but we all do okay let's have some advice from the universe for you Your commitment is being tested. How much do you really want to be with this person? You know? Think about it. And uh, it might be about time to look at your behaviour and 
see what you can adjust for your own happiness. Okay, Aquarius, let's take a look at who's coming towards you. Yeah. Page of Cups. An itch wearing too much makeup. <laughs> so let's have a look at this person. Page of Cups. What kind of person are they? A bit younger, perhaps. Um, loving, caring, emotional, maybe a little bit naive. Um, not the feeling like that towards you would be naive I just think this is someone who falls in love very easily what do you need to know about this person uh, maybe a Cancer Scorpio Pisces they're the dreamer what else that's a nice nice thing Bit of a dreamer. Uh, there's obstacles in the way at the moment. I don't think this is going to work out. There's obstacles in the way to love at the moment with this person. Um, hang on, I need a tissue, everyone. I've got one. I'm not going to be gross and blow my nose. It's just, it's about to. This is a bit, <coughs> I'm sorry, but a horrible cold. I'm drinking lem sip as we go and water. <laughs> I'm breathing out my mouth, so I'm getting very dry mouth. This is, um, I don't know, with this and with this, this is about unhappiness and confusion, obstacles in the way, um, somebody offering their love and so we're not really accepting it. I feel like somebody waiting a little bit too long to accept it as well. That's one of the obstacles that's in the way. Let's have you some advice from the universe. Maybe you're just not ready for this, you know? They're very loving and caring, but... Advice from the universe. Is it worth it? Is it worth the effort that you would put into this relationship? You know, is it worth it? I sort of feel like it's a, a story um, a friend of mine told me recently about their relationship with somebody and this is really coming to mind is that they're like oh my god they're so lovely they're such a lovely lovely person but they're just you know just not right for me um they've offered to take care of me and look after me and make me happy but again, I just, you know, they're so kind and lovely and I care about them deeply, but something about the relationship makes me feel like claustrophobic. I, that's what's sort of coming up here. It, it does make you feel as lovely and emotionally uh, rewarding as this person is in your life and it feels so lovely to have them around they're so caring and they you know it just sort of also feels like a little bit ugh, I can't breathe was, you know what to do
don't get trapped in something that isn't right for you. If it's not right, it's not right, okay? Something around the corner is coming up for you. They might be lovely and caring and wonderful. There's something about, I kind of want to say, it doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound, I don't know, morally right, ethically right, I don't know. It just sort of feels like maybe they're just a little bit too naive. And what you're looking for is like separating the men from the boys or, you know, the women from the girls. And you're looking for like a man or a woman, not, a, you know, naive young person. So it's like you're looking for someone who's a grown up. And that's what's stifling about this connection. They're not. They... It's almost like they dedicate everything to you and they haven't got their own life and it just you just feel trapped so let's get you some advice from the uh, moonology oracle deck Nothing is yet set in stone. I don't think it's the right person for you. If you're sort of thinking this is my last chance at love or something like that, it's not. There's more. Aries. Let's take a look at who's coming towards you. Who's coming towards Aries? Oops. I'm dropping them. Aries, who's coming towards you, Aries? Oh yeah, there we go. That's it. That one. Knight of Pentacles. Oh, can I say, Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving energy. Very uh, efficient cautious person logical taking baby steps all right maybe a Taurus Virgo Capricorn what do you need to know what do you need to know Aries No, I was just going to say no, nothing about this relationship makes any sense. No, we've got the hermit here. We've got the star reversed. We've got neither cups are reversed. I don't know, just no. I, I just think this person's a little bit too cautious. They don't want to get into uh, anything. They 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 keep everyone at arm's length. They're too cautious. Um, something within them that uh, I think they like this because they don't. I I think they lack confidence in themselves to be in a relationship. This isn't your person. Let's have some guidance from the universe, please. It's not your person. I really don't think so. They're too slow moving, too cautious. Guidance from the universe, please. Can't you just be mates? No, can't you just be mates? 
Does it have to be like that? You'd be the sort of... You'd be the better person here and be like, you know what? I see this for what it is. Let's just be friends. Friends are this person. So like, be realistic, be honest with yourself. You know, like it's, sometimes it's time to... Is it, is it over? Is it, it's, it's not going to work, you know, it's, mm, I just, for, for me, I, I think that it's time to kind of, with this Queen of Swords, she's got that sword to cut out anything that's unnecessarily painful for her, or boring, <laughs> or yeah, not right for her, the wrong energy, you know, might just end up be really good mates. <sighs> Guidance. Don't go with death in reverse. It's like don't fight it. You know, <laughs> don't don't try and make something work that is not gonna. <laughs> A new start is coming. Not this one. Look out for what else is coming. This is not your person. Somebody else. Leo. Who's coming towards you, Leo? Leo, who's coming towards you? Separated out the court cards. Ooh, feels like warm to touch. Page of Pentacles. Ooh, maybe a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Put these over here. This is a, a pretty trustworthy person. Gorgeous, but trustworthy. Practical, honest, maybe a little bit naive. All right, what do you need to know about them? What do you need to know about them? it over mull it over think about it evaluate the situation before you come to any conclusions here just seeing the hero fan reverse there think it over what have you got in common with this person is it the right person for you now i'm saying that because we've got this next to it you know Oh, we've got the chariot next to it. And it's like, oh, moving forwards. But you've got to think it through first. Is this what you want? Is this the person that you want? Let's have a, like, some guidance from the universe. Hold on. I sort of feel like the chariot's about moving forwards, but it's also about having control of a situation. I, I feel like this is why you've got to be here in front and reverse about it. Like, think it over. You don't want to go too fast with the chariot. You've got to think it over. You've got to be like, you want to, you want to reach this. You want to reach the good stuff. So don't, you know, charge forwards unnecessarily quickly. You know, I feel like I get some advice from the universe. sort of make sure that past is done with right 
for you, for them. You want to make sure, like, it's all... It's all clear. The debris is clear of the past. You want to, like, hey, that's advice from the universe. I just feel like because of the five of swords in reverse, I just kind of want to say... This... There's some sort of anger about the past or resentment about the past. Um, I don't think it's towards them, but I don't want you or them to take that into another relationship. So I'm sort of, ooh, deja vu. I don't want you to take it to another relationship or them, so. <sighs> Sorry, I'm sick, I'm drinking a lem sip. Plumbing good lem sips. <sighs> well, the lovers, so it's great, it's all good. It's all good, I just think, don't rush things. Make sure the past is dealt with. It's not going to come up again. I'm just trying to think, did I, <laughs> where am I? Yeah, right. Let's pull you this. No, I didn't, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Okay, hold on. Advice from the universe. Can see what cards I, oh, doing all 12 signs here, guys. It's what it is, like, yeah, dealing with the past, something's coming up for one of you. The past is going to rear its ugly head and it's up to you or to them. Are you going to deal with that? Are you going to mess everybody around? you're going to clear the decks. I think that broken hearts are going to heal. And, you know, I, I, I do feel like the past is going to be cut off. I do. I'm, 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 I'm good. I'm happy. I'm happy with this. Advice for you from the Moonology deck. Conclusions are within reach. Good to know. All right, Sagittarius. Who's coming towards you? Who's coming towards you, Sagittarius? Oh yeah, feeling warm. The cards. I run my hands over them. Page of Cups. A lot of pages today. Okay, Page of Cups. Let's take a look at them. Page of Cups is a very loving, emotional, caring person. Um, it's it sort of. As well with the page of cups, I kind of feel like it's it might be a surprise, but it's sort of supposed to happen when it's supposed to happen. So it's almost like you're supposed to learn something from this relationship. What do you need to know right now? here there's a, there's a sadness here that why is the empty in reverse here somebody trying to wield too much control yeah I think that if you try and wield too much control over this connection, you're going to make yourself sad, you're going to make them sad. 
and they'll end up cutting you out. They're very caring, very loving, uh, pretty naive as well. I think quite, perhaps quite a bit younger than you, maybe um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. But um, if you try and have too much control over the situation, they'll walk away from it. So let's have some advice from the universe for you, Sag. It needs to be a more balanced connection, not one person being more in charge. Advice from the universe. Yeah, release your fears. Release your fears. Don't try and have too much control over a situation. Yeah, you've been hurt in the past, but that doesn't mean you have to be like, right, I'm in charge here. Let go of the past. Okay, with the Seven of Swords, it's kind of the things that, that challenge you emotionally, mentally from the past. So you're kind of breaking those chains. Breaking the patterns. So pull me one of these. Neurologies. The time for healing. Like I said. All right, Cancer. Let's take a look at you. Hang on, cards are all turned the wrong way around. Cancer, okay, who's coming towards you? Who's coming towards you, Cancer? I've separated out all the court cards to uh, make that easier. Who's coming towards you? Oh, we got a sparky one. There we go, there we go. Queen of Cups. Oh, lovely. Queen of Cups. She's like, uh, well, don't take gender too much into question, you know. It's... <sighs> She's intuitive. Like me. <sighs> she trusts herself, trusts her instincts. She knows when to protect herself. She's intuitive. She knows when to walk away from something. She's very caring, loving though, um, a very spiritual person, perhaps a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Oh, grown up, I'd say mature person. Doesn't mean they're old, but mature in their soul, maybe in age. What do you need to know right now? Says, um, what you give, you're gonna get back. You're gonna, you know, things are gonna start getting a little bit easier in this connection. It's good. I sort of feel like this person might possibly sometimes be a little bit. distant. Distance the right word. They might be, but I think they've got their reasons. I think that they are just intuitively reading it and the, what I feel right now. They're they're they might be a little bit distant. But they're holding on to some sort of it's sort of a cross between a sadness and a disappointment from their past. Sometimes they just need to be on their own and get past it. Let the moment pass. Someone to be patient with because they're very loving and patient themselves. They're very, they're very disappointed, stroke, sad. About something more disappointed actually 
but there's a there's a deep sadness with that disappointment. I'm not sure what it is, but it does make them want to be by themselves sometimes. Not to dwell on it or wallow in it, but have a breather. Advice from the universe. This is a person with a lot of layers. High Priestess. There is more to be revealed about this person. They're very mystical and uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, mystical, mis more mysterious, I think is the right word. Um, I do want to say with this that I feel like you can trust them. I don't think they're gonna do anything to hurt you. I think that just sometimes they need to have a minute by themselves. I want to say they're trustworthy. I think that there is somebody from their past that they speak to that might make you feel a little bit Oh, I don't like that. But I don't think you've got anything to worry about. Let's pull you one of these. I think that this person who they speak to as an understanding of them that you will eventually get to have with them too. I don't think you should worry about them. It's over with them, right? What do you need to release? I think that um, they've kind of learned how to release their demons and this is how they deal with it. So what do you need to release? Something to think about? Need to ponder upon. All right, Scorpio. Who's coming towards you, Scorpio? Scorpio, who's coming towards you, Scorpio? I've separated out all the uh, court cards here, so I can just pick one out. Hang on. I've got to feel it out. Oh, it's here. There we go. Gotcha. King of Swords. Da, 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 da. All right, let's have a look. King of Swords. King of Swords is sort of a pretty intelligent kind of person. I think Spock. A little bit emotionally remote perhaps, but uh, intelligent, yeah. Articulate, good with the words. Yeah, for some strange reason Jordan Peterson's kind of uh, popping into my mind. He's, he's a uh, a very intelligent, articulate man, but he's not sort of really afraid to show his emotional side. Whereas, you know, I just mentioned Spock and I can't imagine Spock kind of, you know, breaking down and crying. I don't really particularly know that much about Jordan Peterson, but I've watched him talk a few times and get really passionate and like properly burst out crying. I'm like, whoa, okay. He seems to know a lot about stuff, but he's, he's not afraid to show how he really feels and I think that that's kind of why this is popping into my mind. This is someone who's very, very intelligent, um, academically so, um, they'll use a lot of big words and they know exactly what they mean and <sighs> let me pull some cards on this person. Maybe a uh, Libra, Gemini or Aquarius. I just think sometimes you might feel a little bit like, what? <laughs> but 
they're also very passionate. This is someone who knows a lot about a lot. So I'm trying to win an argument with this person. Yeah. This person needs someone who's exactly like them to have a fully functioning relationship. Um, I think that there's too much between you, like your belief systems and um, understanding of the world. You're too different. I think that it'll cause unhappiness. But there's something here. Why is the two of wands here? There's something here. I think they're very lonely. And I think they're looking for somebody to fill the void. But I don't think that you're gonna be happy just filling a void. I sort of feel like it's supposed to happen at this time. I think it might end up being a very big, passionate blow up of a ah, kind of ending to make you, you know, sort of to crack you open a little bit, make you feel a lot of stuff. I think this is a kind of a, a soul connection, karmic connection, um, but it's not the person for you, okay? Um, get you some advice from the universe. very confusing yeah it's not your person it's not it's a very confusing with the two of swords here um very confusing connection that it you're gonna learn something from this but you're also gonna end up being pretty sad at the end of it just pull you one of these Time to take action. If this is kind of already happening and you're unhappy, it's kind of time to take action and, and uh, let it go because it's not for you, I think. Hey, Pisces, who's coming towards you? Oops, I dropped my cards. There we go. Pisces, who's coming towards you? Oh, it's right there. Just put my hand on it. Queen of Pentacles. Who's coming towards you? Queen of Pentacles. Let's take a look at them. So this is like a Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, one who's perhaps being a queen, maybe a bit more mature. Doesn't necessarily mean an age, but probably. Someone who's quite maternal, pretty gorgeous though. Someone who's uh, loving, nurturing. Can I just say gorgeous again? But trustworthy in their absolute total fitness. What do you need to know about this person? They're, they're, they are very trustworthy. This is worth something, mate. This is worth something good. This is, this is, okay. This is worth working on, focusing a little bit um, on, well, the essentials here. You've got your pentacles, so it's, it's great to focus on uh, building something with this person, building a life, building a home, working on your job, working on your relationship. It's, this is something you can build. 
this is going to be a bit of a shocking like kind of connection it's going to kind of come out of nowhere in, in the rocky world a little bit almost like as if you sort of know this person perhaps and they reveal to look to you like by the way i've got feelings for you let's have a look why is the tower here shocking yeah because i don't think that this is sort of your person really like 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 you don't think they are um you've not kind of had it in your mind like oh yeah totally them it hasn't really occurred to you is what i mean by that they, you haven't thought that they were your person it hasn't really occurred to you or you know to them maybe you're the one who's gonna you know shockingly reveal i have feelings for you thing is you know don't be afraid release that fear and go for it you know you think that they might not be into you you'd be very surprised you can make this work you got this okay Let's have some advice from the universe Yeah, okay, it's gonna kind of come out of nowhere, be shocking, well, yeah. yes, but also, mm, you might want to sort of not get into a over-emotional, codependent connection here. This person's very, uh, very sorted, very with it, they know who they are, what they want, what they're doing that could be dangerous for you if you're not sort of on the same page there um don't let them take over you know keep your power stand in your power don't give all of your power to someone else it's just the advice it's just the advice and Prosperity lies ahead. Freaking awesome. Everything's going to be great. All right, Pisces. I hope you've all enjoyed this as much as I have. It's actually been really fun. I've really enjoyed it. I think I'm going to do this more often. It was just a test, an experiment, and I've had a really great time. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, first person to comment below, I'm going to pull you a card of the day and uh, write it in the comments. So first person to comment, say my card of the day. If someone else has already done it, sorry. It's the first person's comment, my card of the day. I will pull you a card of the day and uh, tell you uh, what your vibe is. Thanks for joining me. See you later.